Okay. Um, yeah, my name is Jim Eppersole. This is attempt number I lost count. Okay, so um, go ahead and open a new thing I'm going to do here. I want it to be uh, wider than tall, but I just want it to be roughly the size of the page. So I'm going to make it about 9 inches wide by. Nine inches wide by about six inches tall, something like that, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. So um, then I got my picture over here, so I'm just going to drag it in there. And it's about that big. Okay, so I want to shrink down my canvas size to fit the size of the picture, because I don't want to distort the picture or crop anything out. Um, so I'm going to hit my crop tool. That's fine. Then I'm going to bring this in to the edges of my picture. Maybe, maybe crop a little bit out here. A little bit out. And about like that. Somewhere in there. So they're, uh, the dogs are roughly in them. These are my dogs, by the way. That's Roscoe, and that's the little sister. Anyway, so hit enter, and there's that. Okay, so then you go back up to image. So we want to add a border around the thing there, so you get a canvas size. And that's the current, currently what it is. So we want the width to be, uh, we'll add about an inch of uh, things. So larger, and just add two to that, so six. And the background, we want to be some color. Uh, I'm going to make it a nice. And that's blue. Okay, okay, and there you go. It's not exactly, it's not exactly square, but I, I really don't really care. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, zoom in a little bit. I don't know how you do that. There you go. Zoom in a little bit. Control uh, plus on the window. That's probably Command plus on, on Mac. Um, okay, so I want to convert. I want to rasterize this thing. So I'm going to be doing something to it. Rasterize, and it's a little pixelated, but I mean, you gotta kind of deal with it. Um, okay, so we're going to be selecting, and we're going to select around their head in a box. All right, so around the head in the box. Then Control C, Command C on on uh, Mac is copy, and then Control B, you see it pastes it in its own little layer. If I take this out, Roscoe's cute little head. Is left, is left behind. And as you can see, the uh, the old the old uh, background is still there. Okay, so so now we want to take and do the same thing with with sys and do the same thing. Copy. Oh, it's because I'm I'm selecting on thing. Okay, so that's a good point. So see, so yeah, I'm selected layer one. That's his head. As soon as I select layer two, then I can copy and paste, and it makes a new layer. Now I have both of their heads as layers. I'm going to rename this one Roscoe. Rename this one Sis. All right. So now, what I want to do is take their heads. Go to my selection tool, my little pointer. See, I can't, I can't move it around. Because you see it moves it behind that layer because Roscoe is, is on top. Like that. So then I take Roscoe and move his head over here. Something like that. And then I'll take Sis's head, put her right here. Something like that. And it looks a little weird because I didn't I didn't get real close in on the you know, I could, but why not? Alright. Okay, so we're gonna add some artsy stuff in here because it's cool. So you go to your your uh, your brush over here, and then you can go up here and click this, and there's all kinds of there's all kinds of crazy stuff you can do in here. Uh, I'm not sure what that. I don't, I don't like that. Uh, let's do let's leaves. Why not? Why not? Why are there leaves in the house? It doesn't make sense. I'm crazy. That's why. So we're gonna make. You know, it's fall, but we're gonna do kind of an orangey. orangey. And it's just going to be lots of dead leaves that the dogs brought in. 
Okay, see right here how it goes behind this picture? I don't like that. So I'm going to go Control Alt Z. It's not Control Z like usual, Control Alt Z in the thing to undo. Um, since I'm all zoomed in, I'm going to say the size is going to be smaller. I want smaller leaves. Yeah, there we go. Nice leaves all over the floor. Two of my dogs like to play outside and they bring leaves in. And we're going to go over the, over the, yeah, inception. Yes, borders are no are no match for Photoshop. Besides a little bit. All right. Okay. Anyway, so we're gonna do a little bit of text. Um, we want to make it a different color. I'm gonna go with red because it shows up well against the black background. Now to go top or bottom. Okay. Let's give this a uh, thing here, and you want to increase your point size because it'll be it won't you won't be able to see it very well. So we'll just see how big it's all right, that's big. I'm just going to make our dad is a weird dude. He swaps our heads. Alright. And then you can, uh, once you hit, uh, alright. So then you go back to this, and you can move this around, because once again, it is its own layer. So if you put down here, see how it's, Roscoe is above the text, but Sis is below, so it goes in front of her. So, I'm going to put it right about there. <sighs> Alright, so let's go back to uh, the painting tool. And we're going to go to back up here. We're going to give it a normal little thing there. Uh, we're going to bring the opacity down a little bit. Down to about 40%. We're going to leave the flow as normal. And we're going to say, let's go, let's go blue. Oh, that's still in text. See, because I have this selected. So I'm going to hit the background again. And it's uh, opacity. So I'm going to try to color her in. Oh, because it's doing the thing. Okay. I want this. Go here. Let's do green. Let's do green. Let's do green. See how it's coloring her in. And I'm going to make her green. See how it doesn't go over Roscoe? Nothing. I'm going to make around there green. And a spirally green. I've got the weird dude, he swapped our heads. And then he made it green. So that's my wife coming in with the dogs. Um, okay, so we talked about a lot of stuff. I will review this to make sure I talked about eight things. And if not, I will be. Coming back to do. Okay. Gonna go ahead and. Uh